Pet Talk this morning. <laughs> of course, the headlines across the area this week were the 100 or so dogs found in Love County just out on a country road, just yeah. dumped breeds. They said they were mostly purebreds, but these animals were just sick and dying, and so many people have come forward and helped with these animals. But, you know, Tommy and Amy are back today, and this one's up for adoption, yeah. too. This one had this strange beginning. Ned and I were at Durant at Homeward Bound getting our critters mm -hmm. snipped and everything. <laughs> and Ned was outside waiting and he heard a little high dog voice in the big dog yard. Here she was. Aww. And it involved a little bit of a roundup and, and uh, <laughs> caught her, you know, just kind of doing this little snaky thing. Yeah. And uh, she came right up to me then. Aww. And uh, Ned collected a $5 bet from one of the employees. But <laughs> <laughs> he knew you'd take her. <laughs> yeah. But uh, she's young. We waited for her to be spayed there. Yeah. And uh, she, she's healthy, she's ready to go. She's healthy. Go. Yeah, we're, we're she's guess, I'm guessing. I'm guessing Pomeranian something combo yeah. of some kind. Combo. Yeah. Combo. When yeah. I first saw her up in the hill with a tail tucked, I thought she was a shepherd key. Huh. But, uh, but, but we she's really a do. Sweet we dog. really do want her to find a home. We yeah. want all the animals to have a forever home. But there is a caution about today, yes. particularly with all of these special needs pets. And that, they are special. And needs. they are special needs. Not everyone has the ability or the resources to care for these guys and you want to be sure when you take one in you aren't going to bounce them back to the shelter in two weeks. Exactly. Oh my goodness yes that's I live with that every Constantly. day. Constantly. Yeah <laughs> and they come and go and let's talk about especially some of these dogs let's say that they found and people are, mm -hmm. are wanting to adopt. These dogs have been out in the wild for a while. Mm -hmm. These dogs are not in in the best of health right now. They're right. going to take extra caring mm -hmm. and extra adjusting Absolutely, mm -hmm. and a lot of these pets, a lot of these animals, if they were in a circumstances that I suspect, a puppy mm -hmm. mill type situation, they've not been socialized to people, they may not be house trained, they may not know how to control their bowels mm -hmm. and go on command, any of those things. If you're in an apartment or a home or you have small children, they may be terrorized mm -hmm. by these brand new circumstances. Yeah. So you're going to need, you know, this is a time when we're getting ready to go back to school. Yeah. People and are busy. You, people are busy. So by all means, listen to your heart, but listen to your brain yeah. a little bit too. What are you looking for when you go and you want to adopt an animal? How do, how do you know you've got that bond? Mm. You, you, you let the animal adopt you. They sort pick of. you. Yeah, they, they, they interview you. <laughs> right, and they are going yeah. to make some choices there. Now, a lot of these guys yeah. are not going to know how to make the choice. These are not pets yeah. right now. These are yeah. probably breeding stock now. If you want one of these guys, if you possibly can get a very young one, get a puppy yes, that's and under they're more used to other animals 14 to 16. than they are to people. Right. Yeah, but, and it takes time mm -hmm. if you have other pets around. Mm -hmm. Let them begin to socialize with them slowly. and feel more relaxed slowly, with them. Very slowly. And then they'll probably go to one person for a while. That's all right. Let mm -hmm. that happen. Uh -huh. And then you instill self confidence in them until they become used to another person yeah. and it just grows from there. Yeah. Now, but a really good trick for that is sit on the floor. Sit on yeah. the floor. Sit on their Do level. On their level. Yeah. Don't stare at them. Staring is a very intimidating type of thing for a dog or for a cat. Mm -hmm. So if you look away, practice if you have kids. Have it be a contest. Who can ignore him the most? Really? That's and a good those idea. are the ones uh -huh. that are going to start being curious and come to you. Play long distance toys. Get a cat toy with a long fishing pole thing. Yeah. Play from a distance. Don't look at them. Uh -huh. That's a safe thing, and it also associates you with fun stuff. Uh -huh. Toss treats from a yeah. distance. Food. These are all some things that you can do yeah. long distance, very gradually. Tommy, you Patience. see, you see this the most probably. I have so many animals that are yeah. just dumped. Yeah. People get tired of them. They mm -hmm. get tired of messing with them. Mm -hmm. They won't do what they want them to do. And this, the fact that there were so many dogs out here out there it, it just dumped like it's just bizarre and we can't find an answer as to where they came from no, no. they just come from everywhere no probably no. from Puppy one mills. particular breeder and this is this is a really good uh, way to differentiate between a responsible breeder or even even a, you know a hobby breeder who may have one or two at most mm -hmm. three breeds uh, that they're dealing with. If you see more than th two to three breeds being advertised, mm -hmm. steer clear. Something's wrong. That's Absolutely right. steer clear because that's they're in the business of making money. They don't care that much about the animals. And some of these guys, that's all they do is they breed and they breed and they breed until they're too sick yeah. and then they're put to death. And what made me wonder about there being so many of them out there was maybe they had been dumped over a period of time Possibly. and dogs go into packs. Yes, they do. And that uh, 
a, a good dog can be led astray <laughs> that yeah. way because yeah. for survival, for yeah. survival and and pets that are well kept sure. pets for boredom. Yeah, and they find some excitement. Yeah. So, so you can come to uh, showdry.com mm -hmm. and email me, and I'll offer some resources. Mm -hmm. Tommy, I know has resources as Absolutely. well. We're running out of time, but yeah. you know if you need help. Please get help before you adopt and then give and them back then up. Give them back, yeah. Well, this baby right here this is that baby for adoption. Needs a home. And she's a lovable little girl. And she's girl. healthy. She's healthy. Yeah. She takes a little yeah. time to get used to it, and then she's ready to go. All right. Well, give yeah. us a call here. We'll pass Tommy's number along to you if you need that. There you go.